Hi, first graders. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be working on opinion writing. Now, opinion writing is a type of writing where you share what you think or feel about a topic with your reader. The first piece of opinion writing that we're looking at today is A Pig Parade is a Terrible Idea by Michael Ian Black and Kevin Hawks. We're going to pay special attention to see how this author uses opinion writing. We're going to make sure they follow all of the parts, stating his opinion, providing reasons and examples why a pig parade is a terrible idea, and writing a conclusion. So let's see how this author convinces us that a pig parade is a terrible idea. This is where the author writes his introduction. Like most children, you've probably thought to yourself at one time or another, I bet a pig parade would be a lot of fun. And yes, a pig parade certainly sounds like fun. It's even fun to say. Go ahead, say pig parade a couple times. Pig parade, pig parade. Fun, right? After all, what could be more fun than gathering a few hundred pigs together for a grand parade and then watching them proudly march together in perfect formation down the finest boulevard of your hometown? The only problem is a pig parade is a terrible idea. Ooh, our author has stated his opinion. He thinks that a pig parade is a terrible idea. Let's add that to our chart. Opinion, a pig parade is a terrible idea. Now the author is going to have to provide reasons and examples why a pig parade is a terrible idea. He needs to support his topic sentence. For one thing, pigs hate to march. They prefer to snuffle, which is kind of like walking with your nose. Snuffling is fine when trying to find leftover apple skins and acorns around the barnyard, but snuffling is simply an inappropriate way to conduct yourself along a parade route. That's just one reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. Let's add that to our chart. There's reason number one, why a pig parade is a terrible idea. Pig snuffle. Here's another reason. Also, pigs absolutely refuse to wear majorette uniforms band uniforms. Even if you're able to find enough majorette uniforms for all of your pigs, which is a very difficult job in and of itself, just try getting hundreds of pigs to put them on. They will not do it. Perhaps they consider majorette uniforms unflattering. Nonsense. Everybody looks sharp in a majorette uniform, even pigs, especially pigs. But when you try explaining that to them, they just look, as, look at you as if you are speaking a language they don't understand. Again, a pig parade is a terrible idea. There's another reason, an example, why a pig parade is a terrible idea. They won't wear uniforms. You cannot have a parade without floats, right? Well, forget it. Pigs don't care about floats. Pigs don't care about all the time and energy you spent creating a Three Little Pigs float or a Wilbur the Pig from Charlotte's Web float. In fact, the only floats pigs care about are root beer floats, which they love. And there we have it. Another reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. They don't like floats. Then there's the matter of music. 
Pigs have horrible taste in music. If you give a group of pigs marching band instruments to play, do you think they will play good, spirited marching band music? No, they will not. They will play sad, sad country music ballads with titles like, my tears are wet, cause my mud's gone dry. And I just wanna plop into this bucket of slop. That kind of music is fine for slow dancing at hoedowns, but it is not appropriate for a parade. Face it, a pig parade is a terrible idea. There's another reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. They don't play the right kind of music. Finally, ooh, a transition word that lets me know we're coming to the end. There are the giant balloons to consider. Everybody knows that giant balloons are the best part of any parade. Well, who do you think is going to hold all those balloons to keep them from flying away? The pigs, right? Wrong. Even if pigs wanted to hold the balloons instead of finding filthy puddles on the street to lie in, they couldn't do it. Because while pig hooves are good for digging up wild mushrooms, when it comes to holding giant parade balloons, they are simply not up to the job. And what happens when balloons go unattended? They bump into buildings or simply drift off into outer space, which would be fine for Martians, but awful for those of us trying to enjoy a pig parade here on Earth. And there we have it, our last reason why a pig parade is a terrible idea. They can't hold on to the balloons. Here is the conclusion. So when you consider the constant snuffling, refusal to wear majorette uniforms, the disinterest in pig-themed literary, literary floats, pigs' preference for weepy country ballads, and their utter lack of discipline regarding proper balloon handling, it should be absolutely, completely, and totally clear that a pig brain is a terrible idea. There we go. The author wrote their conclusion. They restated their opinion that a pig parade is a terrible idea. A panda bear parade, on the other hand, would be fantastic. That's just a fun part the author added in at the end. The end. So, as we can see, this author, Michael Ian Black, he was able to use opinion writing to convince someone that a pig parade is a terrible idea. He shared his opinion. You're going to do your own opinion writing over the next few weeks. Thanks for reading with me. Bye.